go. 10-3, 2024, Advanced Geometry Circles. Last time, we learned about just central angles. That's where the vertex was at the center of the circle. Today, a couple different types. The first one, this is a big deal for the ACT, inscribed angles. What's an inscribed angle? It might tell you right here in words. I'm going to tell you in our own talk. Do you see this orange angle right here? The vertex is located on the circle. Do you see how it is not the center of the circle? It is on the circle. There is a mathematical little formula for any arc contained by it. How do you feel about this green arc right here contained by that orange angle? Are you guys with me on contained, like what that means? There's a two to one relationship every time. So do you see how this angle measures 36 degrees? The arc will be twice as big as that, right? So that's all that you gotta do. 36 times two, how much, baby? We will put it in the picture and we will put it in the blank. You're gonna like putting stuff in the picture because it will help you with other questions coming up. So we'll put it in the picture and we'll put it in the blank. But the main story today is you've gotta ask yourself, where is the vertex? There are four choices inside the circle, outside the circle, on the circle, or the center of the circle. Would you believe that this vertex is on the circle? So you guys cool with what that means? Two to one. Uh-oh, they gave you the arc this time. So you can't take that times two to go find the angle. What do you gotta do instead? <laughs> Divide it by two. And shouldn't that be 31 degrees? Are you guys okay with that guy right there? And then another little weirdo, highlighters help a lot of people to see how I'm like highlighting the angle. And it's like, ask yourself the question, buy into it. It'll be an easy test for you. Where is the vertex inside the circle, outside the circle, on the circle or the center of the circle? Answer on two to one relationship. The arc that's contained by it will be twice as much as the angle. So take 113 times two, baby. How much you got? 226 degrees. How do you feel about inscribed angles? Two to one relationship. So what I'd like you to do with a neighbor is work on these six problems. If you would please just pause the video and give these a try. So I got the top three done for you here. And as you can see, four is no big deal. Five is no big deal. Six, you had to take 360 minus 120 minus 140 to get that 100. Then you can divide by two. And then here, that should be 62 degrees, right? This should be 88 degrees, is that right? And then the last one should be how much, y'all? 45 degrees. Man, inscribed angles are a piece of cake, right? If you just understand on the circle, yes. So, looks like I made a mistake on number seven. I'm not saying that this arc right here is not 62 degrees. Are we down with the fact that that arc should be 62 degrees? But the question is, what's the measure of arc MP, which is this guy right here? We have to go looking for a circle's best friend. The circle's best friend is this thing, which starts with a D. That is, uh, it's a diameter, which makes a semicircle, right? So the whole mamma jamma should be 180. So if this is 62, what should that be, y'all? Thank you for finding my mistake. 118 degrees. Thank you for noticing. Good call. We guys okay with that guy, right? So how do you feel about inscribed angles? Nice. So now let's get to some ACT super secret questions, right? Now that you get like the inscribed angle down, they ask you all kinds of questions, right? So I'm gonna just get the cat out of the bag. It's all about this. This is the super secret helper. Isn't that a diameter right there? So easy question for you. How much does that arc measure right there? 180 degrees. You might want to put that in your picture. And check this out. The angle, they obviously have another shape here for us, right? Geometry's best friend is this shape. Wah, wah, wah. You cool with the fact that you have a triangle in this picture as well, right? But check this guy out. They ask you to find X. They got an X in this angle of the triangle and an X plus 12 in this guy, but they mention nothing about this guy. And I say, watch this. Boom, boom. Where is the vertex of that angle? Inside the circle, outside the circle, on the circle, or the center of the circle? On the circle. Is it inscribed in that blue semicircle? Yes or no? Since that semicircle measures 180 degrees, 
guess how much that angle should measure back there. Like, you guys with me? If I follow that green thing out, doesn't that blue arc contain it? Because it's weird for some people to see how much should this angle be right here. 90 degrees. Put it in the picture. That is 90 degrees. And now we have a representative for all three angles in the triangle. What do you know about all three angles in the triangle? How much do they add up to be, baby? This plus this plus this add up to be 180. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do 90 plus X. I'm, instead of writing it all down, I'm just going to add up my like terms. So how many X's do I have when I have that all added up? Two X's plus the 90 and the 12. Isn't that 102? Are you with me on that? Shouldn't know that up to be 180 in that case. You can totally solve for X. So 2X should equal 78. Check my math on that. Is that right? 78. Let's subtract that over. And what does X equal, my friends? 39. Is that right? Then you can find the measure of angle W by substituting in 39 for X. So 39 plus 12, last I checked, that's about that, big old fat 51, all right? 51 degrees. So crazy ACT secrets. Find this. This angle right here is inscribed in a semicircle. So bada boom. You see right there, that blue arc is a semicircle. How much should that angle S? B in this picture, my friends, 90 degrees. And then we'll do the same thing. 6x and then 90 and negative 6 is a positive 84, should equal 180. ACT secrets. When in doubt with circles, look for diameters. Diameters do a lot of good for you. So 180. Take away 84, bada bing, 96, and then divide by the 6. Did you get 16 for x? And then measure of angle T, 4 times 16, take away 6. I got 58. Did that right? Double check me. 58 degrees. Cool, man. Cool, cool, cool. That's inscribed angles. Then to the back side, they got names. These things are like the secant chord theorem or the chord tangent theorem. They all have names. I could care less what these names are. Here's the magic question. If you can ask yourself this, where is the vertex? Inside the circle, outside the circle, on the circle, or the center of the circle, you will be in good shape. So I got all the rules typed up for you to look back on. I'm just going to go over them as we go. Here is an angle right here. Are you down with that blue angle that's got the X in it? Where is the vertex? Inside, outside, on, or center? Looks like it would be the center. You don't know that for sure. Are you with me on that? You don't know that for sure. How do you know for sure? They put like the dots. You know, if you go back to some of these, you see like they've got that dot saying, all right, bro, here's the center of the circle. So we can't say that for sure. But can we for sure say that that is inside the circle? Are you with me on that? So check it out. I'm going to make up some more vocab that probably doesn't exist. I'm going to find the arc that's contained by that. Are you with me that that blue, blue angle contains that green arc, right? And then I got to go find it. So I think this is made up by me. It's vertical arc. I don't think there's such a thing as vertical arcs, but do we know what vertical angles are? Yes or no? Are you down with this guy right here? His vertical angle is right here in this case. If this is x degrees, isn't that totally x degrees? Find the arc contained by him. I'll do that in green as well. Are you with me that that is the vertical arc, which is kind of made up by me? Like those are arcs contained by those vertical angles. Here's the rule. If you are inside the circle, wherever we are at, inside means add. Inside means add. Add these two guys up. Grab your calculator. What's 162 plus 40, baby? 202. And then all you do is divide that by 2. Long story short, you are averaging those. You find the average of those two arcs. You add them up and divide by 2. And 
the measure of that angle is 101 degrees. I can now tell you that there is for sure no way that is the center of the circle. I know it has been a while, but remember central angles measure the same amount that the arcs contained by it. So if this was 101 degrees and that was 101 degrees, then you know that's totally like the center of the circle, but it is not. So inside means add. How much work did I show on that? None. Right? I did it in my calculator, but I did put the answer back in the picture. So they want me to find this angle right here. Ask yourself this question. Where is the vertex? Inside, outside, on, or center? Inside means add. Right? Inside means add. Who are you adding up? You add up the vertical arcs. You add up the vertical arcs. 200 plus 66. Pretty sure that's 266. Right? Then what do you do to that? Divide by 2. How much, baby? 133 degrees. Are we okay with that? Those were kind of freebies. No work shown because I had both arcs. But if you go to the next one, I will ask you this question, right? Oh, I guess it's the same idea. Sorry, I got ahead of myself. But let's go with the question. Where is the vertex, inside, outside, on, or center? Inside, inside means add. Who are you going to add up? Green boy and green boy. Because we're trying to find X. That's a good question that people have. It's like, how do you know which arcs you're supposed to add up? The ones that are contained by these vertical angles of the angle you're trying to find. So problem, we don't have this guy. I'll bet you we could find it, though. Isn't he the only one missing in the circle? All right, so 360 minus everybody. Punch it in, see what you got. So if I take 360, take away 60, take away 20, take away 85, I got 195. Is that okay with that? So now what we'll do is what should I do with these guys right here? Inside means add. And then we'll divide by 2, right? So 195 plus 20, boom, divide by 2. Totally cool that you get a decimal, right? Totally cool that you get a decimal, 107.5 degrees. You're cool with those. So I got ahead of myself. But we showed really no work on those because we were provided all the arcs. The last one of these is different, but an easy question for you. Where's the vertex? Inside, outside, on, or center? Where's the vertex? Inside. Hey, is this 75 degrees also? Yes or no? Can you tell me for sure how you know that's not the center of the circle? If this is 75, what should that arc measure right there? It would have to be 75, and it's not, right? So that's not the center of the circle. Are we cool with that? But here's the problem. Would you believe we are missing this arc right here? We got the angle. We got an arc. We got a combo. Work shown is required. Who do you add together? The arcs. So let's do that. One of them is x. The other one is 60. Do you see I got to add the two arcs together? One is x. The other one is 60. Tell me what I do after I do that. I added them together, and then what do I got to do? Divide by 2. Shouldn't that equal your central angle measure every time? Or I shouldn't say central angle, the angle measure. It's not a central angle. Shouldn't that equal the angle measure? Are we down with the setup? Arc plus arc divided by 2 equals angle measure. Cool. Let's make it easy. I hate this. I don't want to see it anymore. How can I get rid of divide by 2? Multiply both sides by 2. So x plus 60 should equal 75 times 2, which is 150. And then subtract. What you got, baby? 90 degrees. We will put that in the picture. So I want to make sure that we're clear, because I think there's only one example of these. Yes, you've got to show the work if you're missing an arc, right? So it's like over here, I had both arcs. I just did it in my calculator. But that's when the vertex was inside the circle. Check this out. Look at this angle measure that they're trying to find right here. Where is the vertex? Inside, outside, on, or center? Outside. I bet you're smart enough. Sure, it's in the chart also. But if inside means add, take a wild guess what outside means. You've got to subtract. And you always got to take the big one minus the small one. Do you see how this angle just gets larger and larger and larger? This green arc will always be larger than that blue arc, you know, because of how the angle gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So I got both arcs. Let's do it. Subtract 84, take away 26. Guess what you got to do to that also? <laughs> Divided by 2. Outside means subtract 29 degrees. 
hard to p fit that in there, so if you want to draw an arrow to it, that's totally fine. If you can sneak it in there, good for you, but that is 29 degrees. Please buy into asking yourself this question. Where is the vertex? Inside, outside, on, or center? Outside. Outside means subtract. Outside means subtract. 120 minus 45, and then divide by 2, 37.5 degrees. One more, where is the vertex? Inside, outside, on, or center? Outside, oh no, I'm missing an arc. I still have to subtract those, right? What do you want to do? X minus 60 or 60 minus X? Because it makes a huge difference. Before I do that, is 10 minus 5 the same thing as 5 minus 10? Nope. One of them is positive 5, the other one is negative 5. Don't we always have to take the big one minus the small one to make it work? Who's bigger, X or 60? Because it's farther out. X is bigger because it's farther out, right? So let's show the work. X minus 60. What do you got to do to it? Divide by 2 equals 40. Arc minus arc over 2 equals 40. Let's get rid of the dumb divide by 2. Boom. 140 degrees. It should come out positive, and it should be bigger than that other guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Then... I need to bring up probably a new vocab word before we rock on, so let me go into a new page. On the very first lesson in 10.1, they had some vocab words like radius, diameter. They also had a chord. It's been a while, so I'm going to ask you, why is that not a chord right here? But I'm going to use a different color, but this guy is. Yeah. What's the red one called? The red one's a diameter. Why is the green one not a diameter? Because it doesn't go through the center, right? So chords are segments. They have endpoints on the circle, but they don't go through the center. But then you got a new dude right here that's like this. Don't think the video talked about it. That, it could be a segment, it could be a line, it could be a ray. In this case, I'll make it a line. How many places does it touch the circle? One or more than one? Just one, right? Just one. Did the video talk about it? It starts with a T. It ain't called sine, and it ain't called cosine, but it starts with a T. Guess what it's called? That's a tangent. It has absolutely nothing to do with sine, cosine, and tangent. It's just another word that they're using tangent. Tangent means you touch it once. And then one other vocab word, Mr. Purple Guy, is not a chord because that goes through the circle. But how many times does it go through the circle? Once or more than once? That is called a secant, right? A secant. So there's some vocab questions on homework today about that. They're probably on the test also, right? So secant goes through the circle. Tangent touches one place. Can you see right here? We got all kinds of secants and tangents, you know, because they touch the circle once or they go through the circle and stuff like that. It doesn't matter if they're secants, tangents, radiuses, diameters, or chords. It's about where the vertex is, inside, outside, on, or center. So I will hi – sorry, that's not a highlighter – I will highlight this guy right here. I'm going to ask you one question. Where is the vertex? Inside, outside, on, or center? That is on the circle. Tell your neighbor what you think you're supposed to do. You can look it up if you'd like to. It's on the circle. Do we add? Do we subtract? Do we same? Or do we two to one? That's a 2 to 1, right? So should I multiply by 2 or divide by 2 when I have the arc? Divide 75 divided by 2. 37.5. Cool. That's the easy one. I'm going to pause and let you mess around with this guy to get started. Because if I talk you through it, it is really simple. Can you talk yourself through it? So give it a sh Do you know this? 
Yes, 290 degrees. Can you figure out that? Is it the only part missing in the circle, right? Because it all adds up to how many degrees it is? 360, so what'd you get for that orange guy right there? 70 degrees. And then tell me what you know about that. One of four concepts. Inside, outside, on, or center. Where is it? Outside. Outside means what? Subtract. 290, take away 70. Boom. Then do what to it? Divide by 2. Please pay no attention to the scale of this drawing. 110 degrees is totally obtuse. There's no way that that angle drawn is obtuse. It's not drawn to scale. Just trust the math. Cool? All right. So do that on 10. Do the same concept on 10. So pink boy, 160 plus 60, 360 minus all that. How much? 140. Cool. So where is this? Outside, we will subtract 140 minus 60 equals 80. Divide by 2, 40 degrees. Yes, no, maybe? I will give you the challenge. That's fancy for challenge. Let's see what you can do, man. This is your ACT question. Find X. Work together, pause the video, give it a shot. So what we have discovered is this is a challenging question. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make the concept go from abstract to concrete. Abstract means you don't have a number. Concrete means you do have a number. So I'm going to pretend. All right, when I'm stuck, I'm going to pretend. Pretend that was 60 degrees. Could you find that? Yes or no? Like, don't write it down. Let's just talk. Right? Could you find that blue one? If that if that was 60 degrees, what's the blue one? S 300, right? Because doesn't the blue one plus this be the whole circle, right? But it's not 60 degrees. So what if that was 80 degrees? What if it was 80 degrees? How would you find that blue one? Could you tell me that you would do 360 and what? Minus 80, right? Cool, but it's not 80 degrees. What if it was 100 degrees? How would you find that blue one? 360 minus 100, right? But it's not 100. What if it is 75 degrees? What would you do? 360 minus 75, but it's not 75. You know how much it is? Say X. How much is it? It's X. How do you find the other one? When it was 60, you did 360 minus 60. When it was 100, you did 360 minus 100. When it was 80, you did 360 minus 80. It's X. How much is this one? What's that? 360 what? Minus X. Are you with me on that? Whatever that guy is. If it's 50, if it's 60, if it's 70, if it's 100, you got to take 360 minus that guy. But it is X, right? So that's called abstract math. I don't know what it, X is exactly. You just have a variable there that we're going to solve for it. So I got a representative for each one. Now tell me, where is the vertex? Inside, outside, on, or center? Outside. What should I do with these two arcs, the blue one and the pink one? I will subtract them. So I will take the blue one, which is 360 minus X, and you told me to subtract the pink one. I'm going to use red. Isn't it X? Are you with me on that? What do you do after that? Divide by 2 and set that equal to your angle. That is weird. Slow it down. The blue one is 360 minus X. We have to take away the pink one, which is X, right? That's like, like an optical illusion for a lot of people. Divide by 2 and set that equal to 30. Get rid of that stupid divide by 2. What's the other side turn out to be? 60? Are you guys down with that? I'm going to see if I can do two things at one time. Do you have any like terms over here that you could combine? Like terms? Yes or no? Yeah? What's a negative X and another negative X turn out to be? Negative 2X. So are you guys kind of down with that equation, 360 minus 2x? 
equals 60. Now go ahead and let's solve for x. I need to subtract 360. Oh, no. I'm going to get a negative over there. 60 take away 360 is no. Negative 300, no. Is that going to be okay or not? It'll be okay. What's left over here? Because it ain't 2x. What is it? It's a negative 2x. Are you with me on that? And then when I do a negative divided by a negative, what you got? Positive 150. One hundred and fifty degrees. That is a good question. Let us know if you have any questions. Have a good one.